Hello YouTube, once again, this is the Gaming Llama here, and we're back with the next part of Fez, because I'm on a recording spree for this, I'm gonna get all the parts, cause, you know, anyway, so I'm back here with this chest, now, the guide itself never covers, or the one I was looking at doesn't cover how to get this, so I did a little more digging around, and apparently, uh, it's one of these treasure maps, here we go, this map shows you how to get to it, so, yeah, there's like an invisible platform that's about here-ish, yeah, here we go, and you basically have to jump up to these, and then, let's see, you gotta jump up to those, and then go one over, so like that, and then that, and I'll take it to that chest. Oh, nice, a treasure chest, open it, yeah, there we go. Stamp it. Treasure chest. This probably has a key in it. Or another treasure map. Okay. Or... That one looks like a QR code, actually. Hold on. Oh. I am forgetting my controls. Uh... Yeah, this is the last treasure map, but it looks... Blank. Oh, you can rotate them. Okay. There's a QR code. I'm gonna just scan this and see where it goes to. I'm betting that this is the QR code that shows you the, uh, it's the one that gives you, yeah, this is the one that gives you the code for the anti-cube in this area, because if you, uh, go back out here and then hop down, because it does right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger, left trigger. And yeah, that's that's the code for the anti-cube here, so that's how you get that, but I just wanted to make sure to get the chest just so that this, like, says, hey, you, you got everything, so I think we now have everything, or, oh, no, 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 there's still the temple here, so, okay, I know why that, I think I know why that happened, because there's the owl in that area, and I think I just forgot to, either I don't think I talked to it all the way, or, like, the game didn't register it or something, I don't know, something happened, but, uh, I'm gonna pause the recording here, and then I guess just come back when I'm at the part that I missed, so, see you in a second. Alright then, hey, so, I'm back here, made it to the, uh, temple, and, oh, oh dear, the owl is here, which I don't think the game registered me talking to last time, because I went to... It turns out there's like a... Where is it? Okay, so there's like an owl statue, like, right here. It's kind of hard to see, but it's back there. Come, come on, select it. There we go. Okay, so there's an owl statue right here. And it turns out all the owls you've talked to will appear there, so... I guess this one didn't, like, get registered or something when I first did it. Yeah, see, it's, it's got it now. I think it's because it was, like, morning when I did talk to it, and I think it was supposed to have disappeared by then or something. Or, I don't know, maybe the game just didn't save it or something, but... Somehow it forgot that. So anyway, that's why it was, uh... That's why it was saying that there was still something left that I hadn't gotten at the temple. But I got that now. So, we can go back to the map's not loading. There we go. We can go back to this area and then finish the guide here because I know this room's where you get the skull artifact and then there's something else here that we haven't gotten. So we still got to get in those bits. And that that's enough to fall to. Okay. Eh. Need to like find a way down. There's no way down. Oh wait, hold on. Maybe I can grab onto the vines. Dang it. No. Okay. I might be able to grab on if I fall from here. Nope. Okay. Uh, shoot. I don't know if there is a way down. I guess I can keep climbing the thing and then go all the way up to the top. Because I think from up to the top of the observatory, there's a way back. There's like a small gate or something up there. Yeah, yeah, there's a gate up here. So we're just going to climb back up here and head back to the... Oh no, I fell. One more time. There we go. Okay. Now we can just climb it and get back to the gate. Oh, oh come on. I missed it again. Good, good job, me. Good job. 
do a real, real great job here. All right, there we go. This time we're gonna get it. This time. I'm gonna rotate so I can actually see where I'm jumping to. There we go, okay. Now I got it. And then we're gonna hop up here and go through the gate. There we go. Hmm. All right. So that's gonna be that, and then we can go to this area. Alrighty then. So now. I'm gonna check the guide that I'm looking at real fast, cause now we actually got everything. And uh, I swear there was something else I was missing on some other part of the map that I like didn't get. But was it uh was it this? Oh no, that's the tree door. We're not we're not there yet. Uh. There's still some stuff here that I don't know if the guide covers. Okay, so there's still a couple things in the sewer I don't have. I think I need to go back and reread that and do that, but I think once I get everything in this area, aside from the sewers and... Yeah, I think aside from the sewers and in this area, I think I'll have everything, so... That's cool. Oh, no, don't go through the gate. That's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do. No. I'm gonna have to go back through now. Let me readjust my mic. Okay. Go back through the gate. Going back through the gate. Going back through the gate. Come on. There we go. Okay, now we're in the right place. So, real fast, I'm gonna check out the, uh... Owl statue room again. Oh, there's a little platform here. All right. Um, was this the way to the owl statue? No, this does not look like the way. Oh no, this is the way back to the cabin. So, yeah, that's not what we want. That's not what we want at all. We want to go and. I think it's this door. Oh, whoops, I fell. Yeah, it's this one. Okay, so now earlier, there was only three owls here, but there should be four now. Yeah, there we go, the fourth one flocked. So, oh, whoa. So that's how you get that secret door to open. Alright, cool. I can't move. I'm stuck. The, the game's not letting me rotate. I am... The, the game is completely frozen. It will not move. I can't pause or exit or... Alright, I'm gonna stop the recording here real fast and I guess try and figure out how I can get the game working again. One second. All right then, so hey, I'm back. I got the game working. It just completely froze on me. I had to, like, close the game and reboot it and whatnot, but let's see what's in here. Oh, cool. We've got a bigger owl statue and an anti-cube. Nice. Okay, so we've got cube bit here. Oh, it's going to make a full cube. Nice. I think that's the last cube shard, actually, if I'm not mistaken. Let me check my inventory. Yeah, we got all the cube shards. Nice. Okay, so we got that, and then if we go up here, and, oh, we gotta do the invisible platforms. Alright, I see now. Gotta jump up here, and then over to here, and then one more time over to here, and then up onto the owl head. Nice, got an anti-cube, okay. So that's 29 anti-cubes, 32 regular cubes. Alright then. 
Uh, where's the door? Here's the door. I fell again. Alright, door. Cool. So then... We can go back. The owl's facing the other way now. Alright, so we can go back here. And then... We've got to go to this room, because that room has the, uh, that's got the skull artifact. So i got to go find the door that leads to that area again. So, let's see here. Dang it, where's the door? Oh, oh no, I'm falling again. It's here somewhere. I don't see it. Is it not on the main structure? Must not be. Alright then, well, I'm gonna hop up here, and then... Nope, not quite, gotta rotate. Nope, nope, wait, no, nope, it's being a derp! Uh, okay, I think I see the door. We gotta go... up here first. There we go, okay, and then we gotta... Jump over to this island. Yeah, and then go through here, okay. Then we gotta go through here. And then... We gotta find the door to there. That's gonna be... Probably this one over here, I'd imagine. Oh, whoop. I'm gonna take a guess and say it's probably this one? No, it's not that one. That one would take me over to... Okay. Uh, this is the way we came. So, I guess we have to jump up. That's probably it. Gotta yump. Gotta yump. Let's see. Okay, what about this one? Yeah, here we go. Zip. Alright, so, I should have, oh, according to the guide, there's treasure maps that tell you how to do this. Although I don't know which ones are which. Oh wait, no, that's not what I want. No, I keep pressing the wrong buttons. Dang it. Okay, so... I don't know which one's first and whatnot. Oh, right, there's numbers that tell you which one to do first. I'm trying to remember what one is in the stupid Fez number language. Wow, yeah, I, I don't know. I think it's, uh, I think it's this one. All right, let me, let me check the guide real quick because there's a little video showing you which doors to go through to get the skull artifact. Gotta go to... Where do they go to first? Alright, so let's... Let me resume the game here. I think it's one down here first. If I'm not mistaken. Just making sure the doors are the same. Yeah, they are. Alright, so first it's the one on the corner. Uh, let me check the map real quick to see. Okay, yeah, so this is number one. I thought that was number one, but I might have been wrong, so I wasn't sure. So, okay, we do this door first. That's gonna take us out. And it always takes you to a random one. It, it doesn't take you... It doesn't ever take you to, like, the same one. The doors, like, the, the input is what you have to do for the output. Which door you come out of, so so. Anyway, then we have to go over to here. And then do then we do this door. All right, and then we go to to 
the front side. We gotta go up a level. And then through this door. Okay, and then the last one. Okay, and then lastly, we have to be on this side, and then go through the door up above here. So we gotta hop up here, and then go through here. Uh, yep, that worked. There we go. Okay, so now we get to go to this Blood Skull Lake area, and if you look at the rotation, there's a chest out here. I can feel it. I can feel the cosmos. I can feel something kind of really fucking creepy, because... Or in a blood skull lake, but you know, that's cool. I feel like this room's kind of off putting though, like just because the rest of the game is so bright and happy. Like, normally something like this isn't really even that, like, it's not even like that disturbing. It's just like, you see this compared to the rest of the game and you're like, oh my god, what is it? But it's cool because you're just getting a skull artifact if I can get up on the dang thing. There we go. Okay. And skull artifact. How does that fit in the chest? That's way bigger. You found an ancient artifact. Unbelievable. Dot dot dot. So the legends were true. They did come here. Who's they? Who who came here? What? Oh yeah, let me check the map real quick. Because I think we have everything in this area now, if I'm not mistaken. Let me zoom out a scooch. Yeah, I think we have everything here. So that means we can... Go get the last few remaining bits in the sewer that we missed. Alright then, that's cool. Just gonna hop out here real fast. Get up on here. I like the tree too, like if you look at the branches, that's really cool how it like changes and flashes when it rotates. I bet this place looks cool with the sunglasses. I'm gonna look around at the sunglasses. Oh, this is cool. What the what am I looking at? No, wait, no. But yeah, like, if you look up at the tree branches, I don't know, that's really cool. The sunglasses really are helpful, too. Like, you get them and you think to yourself, well, why do I need this stupid first-person mode? I can't even move around in it. But it does actually show you a lot of stuff that you really have to hunt for to find. So, anyway, that's cool. Alright, so we have everything here. I'm gonna check the sewer guide real fast, cause, uh... There's stuff we missed that I don't think it shows, actually. Like the lava room, where we found the, uh... Oh, what did we get in the lava room? It wasn't a red cube. I think we just got an anti-cube for it, but, uh... The lava room didn't have, like, uh... Didn't have much in it. Or... It only led to one area, but according to the guide thing, the lava room can lead to multiple areas. So I'm gonna get down here real fast and... No. Stop. Down, Gomez. Alright, so we go through here, and then jump down here, and into the sewer. Okay, so I don't see anything talking about how to get to the, uh... I don't see anything talking about how to get to this room. I assume it's just, like, another door, though, because it doesn't look too hard to find, so... I guess we just gotta go back to the Tetris room, which hopefully I'll be able to find the door for fairly quickly this time. Uh, that's not the Tetris room. That's not it. There we go, there's the Tetris room. Okay, good, we found it fast this time. So we go through here, and then... Wait for this to load. Alrighty then. Oh, oh dear. I died in the lava. Oh, okay, so there's a door here off to the side that we didn't go to. So I'm gonna head through here and 
take a look at this, because this looks like its own thing. I assume this is one of those things that, yeah, makes you jump. Okay, so there's a tuning fork here, but, uh, I don't see the code anywhere. Let's see if it's on the ground or something. Doesn't look like it. Okay, so the guide doesn't tell you what the code is here. Like, I'm looking, and there's nothing... Oh, no, wait, oh, here we go, lava tuning fork, okay, here's the code. Okay, it's left trigger, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, left trigger, right trigger, right trigger, right trigger. There we go. Blip, anti-cube. The anti-cubes look so cool in this room, they're all red and stuff. Actually, I think your whole inventory turns kind of color-coded to the room you're in. Look at that, we got all four artifacts. Oh, is this like a number guide? Oh, you know what? If you're trying to find the numbers, this probably tells you what they are. Oh, I feel like a derp now. And this is like a... Oh, this is a word guide. Because, like... Okay, oh, I get it now. Because you can use this to solve the Metatron puzzle. And then this is... Oh, no, wait. So these artifacts are actually all supposed to be, like, clues, I guess. Now I feel like an idiot for not seeing that sooner. Dang it, which... What was the dang inventory button? There we go. Okay. And then this one, which is... I don't know if this one's actually a clue so much as just an artifact on its own. Like, I feel like the first two are kind of clues, but I feel like this one, after that, is just like... You know, not really a clue. They're just kind of there to look cool. I like this skull one, though. It's got, like, three eyes and stuff. That's cool. Okay, so... We got that. Whoops, I fell. Okay, we got the, uh... Anti-cube in here. So, I think that means that there's only one more anti-cube we haven't gotten, because... Oh, no, there's two more we haven't gotten. Okay, so there's probably one in this room, but then where's the other one? Um, oh, I see it. It's right. Or, no, that's the tree. Where's the last anti-cube? There's something I'm missing. Eh, whatever, I'm sure. I'm sure I'll find it. Maybe you can get two in the in the other sewer room. That might be it. Okay, so we can leave the Tetris room, jump back up here, jump back up here, go into here, and then we need to go, we need to go to this room. That should be right over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's that room, and then we need to go to the other room. Okay, this is weird. There's, like, floating glitch platforms. Are those, like, supposed to be there, or... Does the game just not know where the platforms are supposed to be? Okay, I think we go this way. Yeah, and then we have to go to the tuning fork, which is... Let's see here. That's over here somewhere. Yeah, here's the tuning fork. Okay, and then let me find... Uh... Let's see, do we have to climb up here? Yeah, here we go. Oh no. And then up here... And... Or no way we can get up from here. Okay, here's the tuning fork. I, uh... Don't know if the code's written around here anywhere. I... Don't think I see it on the... Walkthrough guide? I don't know. Um... Oh yeah, here it is, okay. 
it is left trigger, left trigger, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger, left trigger, right trigger. There we go. Perfect, we got another anti-cube. Okay, so that's 31, but we're still missing one from somewhere. Where's the missing one? That's what I'm wondering. Because if I zoom out... Oh, uh, wait, hold on, I think I see it. Oh, there's one in the boiler room we missed? Man, that's like all the way back at the village. But yeah, no, there's gotta be one there, or... Oh no, maybe we have to go back there with all the treasure maps. I don't know, anyway. Yeah, because I didn't, I didn't read any of the guide that happened with, like, the village or anything, so... Because I was like, oh, the village, we're way past that, there's nothing there, but nope, turns out there is. That's fine. Oh, I done, I, I done derp died, I done derp died, I'm done derp dying. This way. No, don't die. Eh. Dang it. Come on. There we go. Blurp. 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 Exit door. Hop up on here. Rotate. Two. Oh wait, how do you get back up? I know this, I can figure this out. What the hell, you don't get any closer to it. Oh, I guess you have to rotate the thing that lays the water. Bye bye, black holes, no one loves you. Uh, okay, seriously, that's just mean. That's just mean. Okay, blue sky zone. And then that should take us all the way back to the village, and then I think I'm gonna get the last anti-cube, and then probably end the episode here, I don't know. Well, because if I get the last anti-cube, I think I've collected everything, so you know what, we're just gonna, we're just gonna push on through to the last part, we're gonna make this the end, hopefully. Assuming all goes well. Which, let, 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 let's get real, this is me we're talking about, it never does. But, anyway. Gotta go down the tower. Gotta go down the big tower that we climbed a bunch. Oh boy. No, I fell. I can, I can just jump over here. There we go. Okay. So now we're back at the village. Gotta hop up here. Oh man, it's been a while since we since we were here. Isn't it ironic that this is where we started our journey and now we're coming back to it? Ha 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 ha. Oh boy. Gotta find the... Is this the boiler room? This is the boiler room. Okay, so my guess is that there's probably... Yeah, because I don't think that this is like... Oh, look, there's the skull artifact on the wall. I wonder if the other ones are... I don't know. Okay, well, anyway. I'm going to scroll back up in the guide all the way to the uh, village area that talks about the boiler room. Okay. So... The code is up, right trigger, left, A, right, left trigger, down, right trigger. This is it, the final anti-cube. Incredible! Oh look, we just got two achievements. You found every single cube and anti-cube. That's quite an achievement. If I were you, I'd go back to that Stargate. Which Stargate? Fuck, what are you talking about? Okay, well anyway, we got the achievement. We got two achievements there. We got, uh, some total and hexahedronaut, so that's cool. Let's go through here. 
and then up this way. Come on. Up. Whoa. Stab it, Gomez. Stab. Okay, and then we gotta hop up here. Up this way. Whoo, almost didn't make that. Oh, I didn't make that. I died. I fell. Gonna rotate again. Gonna hop up this way. Up this way. Hop up this way. Go through the door. Okay, so... I think we have everything in the game now, if I'm not mistaken, which means we can go to the uh, tree, so that's cool. Let's find the gate for the blue sky area here. Oh right, it's up top. I forgot about that. Wait, so when he says stargaze, is he talking about the one of the ruins of Zoo, or... I, I don't know. Anyway... Part 12, what now, post-game. Now the game is complete, you can do a couple extra things. First, return to the area with the 64 cube door. Which we can now open because we have all 64 cubes. So that's cool. We gotta go to the lighthouse, and then... Over to the tree. Or wait. Oh no, it's not the lighthouse, it's... Frick, where is it? Oh, no, we have to go to the bell tower. Whoops. Whoopsie-daisy. Gotta go over to the bell tower. Back in my day, we didn't have none of y'all. Fancy schmancy bell towers. If we want to know something, we figure it out ourselves. I don't think that made any sense, but whatever. I'm gonna just roll with it. Alrighty, then. And finally, over to the damn tree, because, oh my god, we've been looking for this shit forever. Where the fuck is the tree? Which one's... It says it's over this way, but I don't see the door. Is it this door? Is it this purple one? I bet it's this purple one. Why can I never remember where any of the doors are in this game? Yeah, it's the purple one. Okay, we are finally here. The moment we've all been waiting for, the tree. All 64 cubes. Noise. Alright, cool, we get a little reward room. This is awesome. Oh, do we have to figure out how to get up top? Oh, no, those vines. Oh, that's why the red cubes have a notch taken out of them. It makes a little pixel heart. That's cool. Sweet, we got it. I think we visited every room in the game now, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we got everything. We completed it. If I'm not wrong. Let's see what the guide says. Lastly, having all 64 cubes unlocks an alternate ending. Oh, okay. Alright then, so this is going to be a bit of a long episode, or... Actually, no, you know what? The endings are usually kind of long, so... I'm gonna cut it off here, but just say thank you so much for watching. This has been a blast playing this game, even though it got really annoying and the puzzles and shit got hard. Anyway, if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe, because more stuff is going to be coming now that I'm finally done with Fez. It has literally taken me over a year to beat this, and that's way too long. But anyway, yeah, hope you liked it, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good time, tell your friends and family, all that stuff. Goodbye.